This is Sundown National Park, home of the Mount Donaldson Circuit Track, a 21.6 kilometer trek that takes you up to the summit of the 1,010 meter tall Mount Donaldson. This three day trek took absolutely everything out of us, and when we began, we had no idea what was in store. Holy shit, I made it. It's, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> This is our experience summiting Mount Donaldson. We're dying. This sucks. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're currently driving. We're really hoping that this weather... This weather stops soon. Because, uh... It sucks. It's not good hiking weather. No. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Joe, why are you so focused on your driving right now? I've seen four kangaroos jump across the road, <laughs> and I'm not hitting one today. <laughs> okay. This is the entrance. <laughs> Look There's at the cow! There's just a cow. There's just cows chilling. Morning. Sorry, uh, mooning. Alright, we have arrived in Sundown National Park. Are you excited, Joe? I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, I, I want to get some. Final kangaroo count is like 25, 30, something wild. So I think we're going to see like an insane amount of wildlife on this trip. Yeah. But let's collect our things and I guess we'll just start walking. <laughs> okay, this is what we're living off of for the next three days. That's Joe's pack. That's my pack. I'm excited. I'm so <laughs> All right, day one, let's go. Let's go, Joe. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so our plan for today is to get as close or up the mountain as we can. Um, it's somewhere between like 10 and 15 Ks, but there's no real like solid information on it because <laughs> not many people do this trek. So it's kind of like, we're kind of guesstimating. So we'll just kind of see how far we can get today. And that's, that's pretty much it, right Joe? Yeah. Dope. Hey Joe, yeah, yeah. just quickly. Yeah. Have you been enjoying the path so far? It's been lovely. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well we're going that way now. No. I'm dead serious. Actually? <laughs> yeah, that's our track. That's the back. So, we're going. Wait, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure that's not the way back up? No, yeah, no, I'm sure. Oh, that's the back. That's, that's the circuit. Thing. We don't want to go that way. Okay. Never mind, I lied. We're going that way. Don't worry about it. The path stays for now. That was the path that we were on. And uh, that's the way we're supposed to go. So now the path is gone. <laughs> Just as an aside as well, while Joe's climbing up this section behind me, we're the only people out here this weekend. Um, Joe had a look when he was booking and there's availability for 30 people to do bush camping and we are the only people with permits. So it's just us out here. Hey guys, how you going? All right, ladies. There's deer there. Oh my God. I have lived in Australia for 21 years and that is the second time I have seen deer and the first time I haven't been in the car while I saw them. Yep. Wow, that's wild. I feel like this travel vlog is very quickly just gonna turn into us going, oh my God, animal, oh my God, animal. Oh, we're really sore and tired. Oh my God, food, oh my God, animal. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what we're doing out here. Hey? Pretty much. Yeah. This, uh, these rocks suck, Joe. I'm over it. Yeah. We've been, we've been walking on these rocks for like, what, an hour now? Ow. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, something like an hour. It's just horrific. It's bad on the ankles and bad on the psyche. I'm over it. We've encountered our first big obstacle of our trip. And it's, uh, it's this river. We're on this side. But we need to be on that side and this is the only spot where we can cross so it's gonna get interesting i think i'd rather go through this section than that section 
Yeah, I agree. Okay. Shoes off around the neck, off we go. Shoes off around the neck. Okay. Oh. I'll go first because I'm shorter. So if I can't make it, then you can't make it. Well, if you can't make it, then I'm not going to go. That's what I'm saying, though. Because yeah. if you go first, I still might not be able to make it. Yep. Cool. Don't wait, Dom. Taking my shoes off so I can cross the river. I think this is... We've decided this is probably the only point we're going to be able to do it, so... Frank's going first. I hope I hope that it's shallower over there than we think. Well, Joseph, I will see you on the other side, my friend. Alright. Oh, my God, it's cold. Alright, you made it. Yo! I made it across the first section. Joe's about to try it. I uh, cut up my foot. And I still have to cross this section. Which I think is the sketchiest. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that quite yet. Here comes Joe. This is where it gets deep. Welcome. That kills your feet. I know, look at my foot. Oh, are you good? Yeah, I'm alright. I actually don't know what I did, so I'm chilling. This is the next bit. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, nice. That is insane. I am scared right now. I'm like shaking, I'm incredibly scared. Holy shit, I made it. That was fucking terrifying. It's Joe's turn now, and I'm, I'm legitimately worried for him. This is um, probably gonna be the most intense part of this expedition, so once we're through here, or once Joe's through here, we'll be able to rest easy. It might be easier for you to come up and go there because there's less current. I'm just saying, walk up river until there's less current and then turn right. I'm finding a better spot to watch you from. I can't really see you from here. You're going against the current. Go diagonally or horizontally with it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> the relief. Oh, dude. Yeah, I was very scared. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, oh my god, that was so stressful. <laughs> I'm like still a little bit like, woo. Yeah, let's stop. Let's stop and eat after that. Because the, like we can kind of just plod our way through. Um, and we can leave our shoes off for a bit. This was our little lunch setup. These are our seats and our kitchens. We should be able to stay on this side of the river all the way to Mount Donaldson. So we shouldn't actually need to cross the river again. Yeah. In theory. In theory. In practice. We're not going to do another river crossing, so... No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. That's it, we're That's done. All. So the GPS slash map says that we have to turn across the river and do two more river crossings. Uh, I say fuck that. Uh, so we're going to go up this ridge because we got to stay on this side anyway because we're turning in from this side of the river. So we're just going to go up the ridge line and around and then just cut in from where we need to be. Because yep. I don't want to do another river crossing after that, after that last one. No, thank you. I'm pretty sure that peak right there is the one we're working towards. We're following the, the mountain goat tracks. Literal mountain goat tracks, like we saw mountain goats. Yeah, so we're just following their tracks. They ran away from us, but they've left beautiful paths for us to follow. Yeah. Which is very nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is 1.19 p.m. We've been walking for four hours and four minutes. We've just reached the halfway point to the mountain, not the summit. So we should be able to make it to the summit today at sunset. Oh, not the summit, sorry, the mountain no. at sunset. And then summit tomorrow morning, walk back as much as we can, and then pick camp and then leave yeah. Sunday morning. Oh, like I knew it was going to be unmarked, but I've done unmarked tracks before and they've had like paint on the ground sometimes or tags on trees. There's nothing, there's no writing, there's no nothing. There's nothing. Literally, we've been relying on physical printed maps 
and my little mostly my little GPS device thing which is absolutely magic and I love it. Yeah. We made it. This is it. This is the turn off. Yeah. So we gotta go up that way. We going up there? That way. Okay. That was the annoying part, but this is the hard part. Yeah. Because this is all uphill. So it's gonna get real spicy real soon. You know it's bad when this is the nicest path. <laughs> we have a fully like grass is greener on the other side type situation. We're just swapping back and forth sides of the creek because it swaps between like big hills like that and grassy plains like this. So we're just going back and forth. Look at Joe, he's vlogging too. We found the waterfall! Yeah! Yeah! I have a feeling that there's another waterfall behind it. We're making progress. We're starting to go up now. Yeah. And we're both feeling the 4 a.m. start today. Yeah. <sighs> it's hurting. Yeah. Nice. So, we found the second waterfall. Yeah! Yeah! We are getting to the top of this ridge and then we are finding a spot to camp. Because, oh my god, are we exhausted. We are working our way up the cliff face by the waterfall for like 30 minutes. It's like, it's like this. Oh, that doesn't show how steep it is at all. Wait, that's straight. We're dying. This sucks. <sighs> Joe's down there. Joe's down there fighting for his life. Somewhere. Somewhere there. But we're gonna set up camp at the top and finish for the day, because we're wrecked. <sighs> I'm at the top. I'm at the top. Here's, uh, here's the view that I'm currently looking at. Boom. And there's Joe. Working his way up. I'm gonna set up my tent. Right here. I've got a beautiful view of the valley. And I don't want to go anywhere else. Man, that day was intense. We've been walking for seven hours. We were in the car for four before that. We've been up since 4 a.m. We finally reached our campsite. Uh, we're probably still maybe two k's from from Mount Donaldson, so we're not we're not there yet. Um, we've got to do that tomorrow, but uh, we're we're <laughs> we're fucked. So we're gonna we're gonna set up camp and uh, eat and sleep early. Joe, yeah. day review so far. Oh, it's been the best. It's Other the than last the part about like five minutes. That, that was. <laughs> The worst. <laughs> Other than that, it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna set up our tents and uh, hang out for a bit and then cook dinner. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Okay, campsite done. Got my Zorali tent all set up with, of course, a beautiful view so that when I wake up, I can walk right outside to the beauty that is. Sunshine National, Sundown National Park. And then, about to cook some dinner. Got my shoes, got my bag under the tent, and Joe's all set up over there. Ready to take my shoes off and, and sit down for a while. There goes the daylight. Joe and I are gonna spend the last few minutes of today watching the light fade, and then we're gonna go to bed. That's it, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I don't know if you can see them, but there are two goats right there, just staring at us. Plotting. 